Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Jessie Lips Makeup, and today's video is going to be a little different. I actually have a nail tutorial, so if you want to know or actually learn how to apply these Broadway Nails Nail Dress Stick on Wraps, just please keep on watching. And this is the final result, just in case you're interested. Both of my hands. And I hope you guys like it. Bye. So ladies, I'll be demonstrating to you today how to apply the Broadway Nails Nail Dress Stick on Wraps. And in case you're interested, there will there is a number on the side for this particular design. And it is 55575. You can find it on your right-hand corner. BNSW05. And this is a very nice, fun design, I think, especially right now for summer. And inside this um, package, you will find 28 nail dress wraps in total, so on front and back, and a nail file. And I'm just going to go by the directions that are here on the back. You can find them in English and Spanish. And at the end, just to make sure that the wraps stay on a little longer, we're just going to apply a coat of clear nail polish, so whatever you have accessible. And let's go ahead and get started. So as you can tell, ladies, I have already set aside on the clear plastic some of the nails that I will be using already. So that's the first step. I already filed my nails to the desired length. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure to do so. So you just select at random whichever one you think is going to fit best. And I'm just setting them aside. The good thing about the stick on wraps compared to the glue on nails is that if you make the mistake and you, you, once you start applying them, you notice that that's not going to be the right size for you. You can easily just change it. So I sometimes I put my nail over it just to give myself an idea and see if that nail is actually going to fit. I've probably applied these a couple of times already, so more or less I know which ones fit me best. So, so far, so good. I might have made a mistake. Maybe once I'm applying them, like I mentioned, it's not going to be the right size. But I'm going to go ahead and continue looking for the right size on for my right hand. And I'll be right with you guys to demonstrate to you how to apply them. So, as you can tell, I actually already have the pinky nail done. I still haven't applied the clear coat. But I actually had to make a change once I started measuring them. The pinky one, I don't know if you guys remember, but initially it was orange. It was this color. But I felt that this one fit me better, so I made, I went ahead and made the change. So it's very easy to apply once you have all the nails um, that fit you best. I'm going to go ahead and apply this one. So they come with tabs. You hold it from the tab. Ideally, it's best if you do your thumb last, and one of the reasons why is because it really helps you um, apply all of the rest of your nails. So you want to save the thumb for last, and you want to apply it as close to the cuticle as possible, not on top of it though, so make sure that you have pushed your cuticle back already. And I'm going to go ahead and place it as close to my cuticle as possible. Once you feel that the placement is right, that's when you will probably start to smooth it out. So I feel it looks kind of crooked, I know, but um, you're going to use the smooth side of the nail file, and this is going to help you smooth it out and leave no lines on it. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth it out. You want to start from the top and work your way to the bottom, making sure that you don't have any lines left behind. So make sure that it sticks really good. And once you feel that it's secure enough, 
with the other side, this side of the nail file, you're going to remove the excess, whatever is left over. So what I like to do to guide me, I like to fold it down. That way I know more or less where I need to file. And you want to do it, you don't want to do it harshly. Do it smoothly. So you're just going to file up and down. And I know that right here it's kind of sticking out from my natural nail just a little bit. So I just want to make sure that I don't remove that much. So now I'm filing down. Smooth it out again just to make sure that you don't remove that much off and we're going to smooth again and once I feel I have enough already like off I don't know if you guys can see the line here but once I see I have enough I pull away myself gently and it's always best if um, same thing like when you're applying your brush, it's best if you start little by little and building up. So same thing with this, it's best if you take a little bit off and not all of it because then you can always remove more versus um, taking away too much of that excess of the nail. Because at least like this, you can always go back. And if I have any extra, I can go back and I was going to actually do it with the other side by accident. You can always go back and remove it. So this is kind of like your last chance after you remove your excess to smooth it out. Making sure you have hit every area, that there's no wrinkles. So this takes, this pretty much takes, this actually takes more time, at least for me, than the glue on nails. But these are very, very cute designs as well. And especially if you're, because I'm not already when it comes to the design of nails. So this one already comes with the design, and I just have to stick it on, and that's it. So, so far, so good. Smooth it out. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate to you once again how to do it, just to get a more clear idea. And... That's how it looks. Once more, I'm going to demonstrate to you with another nail how to apply them. You get it from the tab. Place it as close as possible to your cuticle, and this tab will guide you. Once you feel that you have it centered, place it with the smooth side. You start smoothing it out from top to bottom, making sure you end up with a nice and smooth surface. Even after you remove the excess, you can continue working on it, smoothing it out. It'll probably even be easier. I like to fold it just a little so that it can guide me. As you can probably tell, here in the edges, it's still not... Um, stuck to my nail. So we're going to file it down with strokes just going downward very lightly. And little by little it will start to detach itself. I didn't mention this but you can either apply these to artificial nails as well. I'm sorry, you can apply them to your natural nail or to artificial nails as well. So there it has already removed. I don't know if you can tell here. I'm sorry for the quality. And I'm just going to tear it. It's just going to take practice. And then just continue to smooth it out. 
if you have any excess still left, you're going to do the same thing. Remove it with the nail file. So I don't want this to turn into a super long video. So I'm going to go ahead and continue and finish up. This one actually has, I believe, some ac actual excess. And I still have to smooth it out from the sides right here. So you just continue to work until you have a nice, nice and smooth surface. This one is giving me actually a little bit of trouble. But I will continue to work with it and remove the excess. have some excess right here and over here. So I will remove it with the nail file. And each nail is different, so make sure that if you just like to put some of these on, that you are not in a rush because these definitely take more time to apply than the glue-on nails. Okay, so, so far so good. And I hope you guys pretty much got the idea. I'm going to finish up with the other hand and I'll be right back with you guys so that you guys can see the final result. But so far so good. So please keep on watching. So as you can tell ladies, I have the nail wraps on both of my hands. And the last step is to apply a clear coat um, nail polish, a top of clear nail polish. And you just want to do this to make sure that they last longer. And by this point, and you've been moving around and fixing the other nails from your left hand, some of them might not be um, as stuck. So you just want to go ahead and make sure that everything is how it should be. And you're just going to go ahead and apply your clear top of nail polish. So this one so far so good. Some nails are going to give you more trouble than others. Some of them will be very easy to apply. So pretty simple step. And I'm not going to show you with all of my nails because all of you guys know how to apply clear nail polish. So like I mentioned, just make sure that the nail is nice and smooth and apply your clear top of nail polish. This nail was probably one of the ones that gave me the most trouble. I don't know why. Just making sure now that it's nice and stuck to my nail. And once again, go ahead and apply that clear nail polish. Thank you so much for watching, and I also want to thank all of my new subscribers. And that is pretty much it. I'll be back once I'm done with the rest. So this is the final result. I applied the top, um, a, clear to a clear coat of nail polish just to make sure that they last longer. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. And that's about it for this video. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.